you have arrived at your destination on the right side, 1120. US 61. Finally, finally, I got here, yeah. I try to see if I can back this thing in here. If I could. Truck drivers here. Where am I going to park here? Damn it. See if we can get a shorter shot at this, and we can squeeze our tail in there.
this is Missouri and believe it or not I made it uh, just about a 690 miles non-stop took my break and I continue to my destination I still got about 200 miles to go uh, a little bit less than 200 miles but maybe three three and a half more hours to go well I can't go any more than this I did what I had to do just gonna settle down here and just relax and just roll the dice tomorrow and if I get double sevens I'll find myself to my destination it's where I want to be tomorrow it's very important that I need to get there fast and smooth and easy so I could do my uh, double barrel action drop low pick up another that's a double barrel action all right guys thank you very much for watching i didn't want to uh do a lot of videoing on the way but it was a pretty steady run and pretty steady run so i did pretty steady run that's pretty much it uh dokie catch you guys later so what do you think guys you want to clap your hands and give me a thumbs up or what Well, this guy down here, Buck, did a hell of a job, man. He drove 690 miles, no, actually 671 miles in one day. One day, huh? That's a that's a one heck of a mile he got there. Well, here I am sitting down in Missouri, uh, kind of like it is a bit what it is. Pretty much a uh, cute little town. I uh, see there's a pizza up there and you know, we got some uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken and some burgers but I'm gonna go behind uh, this truck over there and I want to see what's out there and um, that's pretty much it all the gauges are working actually uh, air pressure is holding I do have my fuel here I have pretty much up there and uh, Yes, what else? We have, uh, well, the axle is, that's the temperature right there. It's about over 100. And it's my transmission. It's less than 200. And also, we have on the left, engine pressure, oil, and oil, temperature, water temperature. Everything looks good. Don't worry about that, that's nothing. And that's pretty much it. So, I'm pretty much, like I said, I am gonna be all done today and park my baby rig, he's parked here and uh, I'm totally stranger here. I've, nobody knows me and I don't know anybody around here. So, uh, I'm gonna be all uh, crashing down here tonight and uh, I'll be heading over to uh, my location but in the meantime uh, there's really nothing else to do around here man um, what else oh yeah guys you know what I was pretty happy about putting up my antennas I got in touch with one of the guys over the internet but <laughs> I don't know I and mean, I was kind of like driving and all of a sudden I hear something and you know what it was? One of my antennas flew right off. And it was an isolated road, there was nobody, so it's good, it's clear. Uh, nobody had to stop me for it. But definitely it had a manufacturer defect on it and it kind of like flew and went on the grass. I lost my $60 antenna. Well actually the base is sitting there with the screw nut but you know, I think that's a screw that fits in here. I'll show you guys. Take a look. I don't have an antenna. It's gone. You see that that point up there? That from that screw, that's the point. And all the way up, all the way up, there's nothing. It's empty. See that? The tip is gone. Oh, that's terrible. Now I'm gonna have to contact the. Uh, I have to contact the manufacturer 
And I want to see if I can find the receipt or somehow I can tell them, listen, I bought it, I put it on, like it's uh, less than six months. They give me five years warranty on that. I got online, I got their telephone number. They're in Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania. And I'm going to give them a call and see uh, what, what's up, what they're going to tell me. They're going to help me out and give me a new one or maybe 50% off the price that I paid. I don't have my receipts. So I got to find it. Who keeps receipts, right? They're everywhere. They're flying everywhere. So, yeah, it's, I lost it. I can't believe it. I was happy for a second. You know, it looked, it looked pretty cool. I know most of you guys are saying one antenna is fine. You don't need two antennas. Because why you need two if one of them will do the same job as a two? Well, then I said, you know, you know, we got two legs, two hands, and I prefer to have two antennas. You know, one one side, the other, it's off balance. So I figure I do, you know, I try to get something, but I did, I got it, but it's now, forget about it. It's gone, I lost it. All right, more trucks are coming in here. Uh, I don't even know the name. Oh, here is the name, it's called, that's called, a Y E R C O Ir Irco something like that Irco um, kind of like truck stop it's a small one probably it's a mom pops it's probably like a mom pops place anyway um, gotta get going let me get there let me go in there and wash up a little bit stretch my legs and I've been sitting uh, why don't I go ahead and stretch my legs and get out thanks for watching coming from missouri and this is all about missouri today and tomorrow i'll make a little bit of a short video where i'm going to be where i'm going and where i'm going to be dropping the load until then folks you all have a nice day nice night thumbs up take care see you soon